Hi, so I have 40 of these, a sheet of blue acrylic, and a burning desire to make a wind version of this. Now, the good thing about these spoons is they're polycarbonate. And that means three things. One, they're virtually unbreakable. Two, they glue, glue really, really well with sand or acrylic glue. And three, if I put a bit of heat on them, I can bend them really easily. So they have some good properties for doing this project. Now, it's easy enough. And the first thing we need to do is cut out some circles and glue our 40 spoons around that circle. OK, so I cut these discs from the blue acrylic using a hole saw. And you can see I've got two sizes, 100, 175. I've glued the 75 onto the 100, I've got my spoons, and I've raised it up a little bit so that when I put the spoon on there, the flat edge is touching all against there, and all I have to do now is put a spot of super glue on it and go around in a circle with my spoons, making sure they touch here and here. Okay, and that's it all glued together. Now, to my mind, it looks like a big blue desi. I did think about putting a ring around there as an extra sort of anti-wobble sort of thing, because, you know, it might wobble in that direction. But then I thought I was being a bit anal about it. And what we'll do is we'll just get it up there and see how it performs. The only thing left to do with this now is twist those blades to between 20 and 27 degrees. I mean, there's no chance of me doing that. Eh? I'm going to aim for about 30 degrees. You do that by putting a heat gun there and giving those a twist. Now, you don't go crazy with the heat gun. But soften that handle. And then twist and hold until it sets. OK, and there they are all twisted out. Now, I think this is looking like a daisy wheel, so I'm going to call it the daisy generator. Why not? Now, when the wind hits here, of course, it's got this big flat space to hit. And what I'm thinking is a cone. Put a cone in there because we know that'll help deflect the air. And on the back, I've glued eight neodymium magnets because I'm going to put a coil next to that. And as it spins, this becomes a generator. Anyway, all I really need to do now is make a little framework for it so we can put it in the air and stick the cone on and a coil. So let's do that. OK, so I made a quite simple wooden stand for it. We've got some bearings in there and a coil on there. That coil's from a microwave oven turntable. And now we can get our daisy and slot it on there. There we go. I just think that's beautiful. I mean, it, it, it looks like a daisy to me, and it's made of old teaspoons, which I think is fantastic. But now let's see if it can actually do anything. We've, of course, got a still there, so I'm going to put a hairdryer on it. OK, so I've attached it to this LED here. Now, that LED is a 12-volt LED, but it's got a turn-on voltage, sort of 6 to 8 volts, something like that. It's attached to our daisy teaspoon generator. Give that a spin, you can see it actually does generate, which is kind of cool. There you go. I love it. Well, let's get some wind on it. <laughs> okay. It's got some inertia. I'm kind of surprised that worked at all. Hey, but we need some measurements out of it. So we need some wind speed velocity. We need some uh, amps and some volts so we can get an idea of what the power is. But I'll do that in a separate video. I want to have a bit more of an in-depth look to it. But I love that, actually. I think it's a beautiful thing that will actually generate and is made from old teaspoons. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. And please remember to like and subscribe.